Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to understand what are embedded data sources in SSRS. So embedded data sources are the data sources which are available to the report. They are specific to the report or their scope is limited to the report in which you are going to create them. So other parts of the video we will cover we will be uh, learn and how to create a SSRS project or solution and then we will uh, create some reports uh, with embedded data sources then we will deploy those reports uh, to, the, uh, to the report server and then uh, we'll make some changes to the connection strings or data sources which we have used in that report then uh, finally we are going to understand uh, is this a good practice uh, to use the embedded data source or we should be going towards the shared data sources. So let me open SSDT SQL Server Data Tools. Once the SSDT SQL Server Data Tools is open, you will be going to the file and then go to New Create a Project. Select the reporting services here in the templates and then choose Report Server Project. Here provide the name of the project, so we will call them sales reports and provide the solution name, so we can call them SSRS training solution. It is going to create a directory. You can either create to the default for location, whatever it gives you right here, or you can browse to the location where you want to create this solution and projects. So hit OK. Once uh, the solution is created, uh, we will see the under the projects uh, share data sources, share data sets, and uh, reports. Uh, so let me go ahead and create a new report. Uh, so by right clicking here, we can go ahead and say add new report. This is going to start the wizard, but we don't want to create the wizard. Uh, we are going to use uh, the new item here and uh, create our report from scratch. So I will select the report here and this report is going to be customer report. Once uh, we have the report uh, ready, here we need to do few things. As uh, we don't have any shared data sources here, also we don't have anything uh, uh, here in the report. Uh, we need to use uh, some of the connection string to connect to the data source uh, from where we want to extract uh, or get the data for our report. Uh, in the data sources uh, in the report, uh, we are going to right click and say add new data source. Now we have two options. Uh, either we use shared data source reference uh, and as we don't have any shared data source, uh, so we can't really use it. Uh, and uh, also we want to use the embedded connection. When we select the embedded connection, I'm going to call this one as a sales. And uh, we have to provide the server name and database name where we want to connect. So this is embedded connection. That means that this is specific to this report. So we are going to go ahead and add it, provide the server name. And then we are going to select the database. So I'm going to use a sales database in this case. Test the connection. Hit OK. Now this is the connection string it is uh, using. I can copy for next uh, if I don't want to uh, every time add it and uh, go ahead and uh, choose uh, the SQL Server instance name and database. I can copy and use for any other uh, places where I need to use it. So anyways, uh, now we are okay. This is uh, uh, creating uh, a sales embedded data source. And as you can see this, that this is solid cylinder if it will be shared it will show an, an arrow here and then we will have some uh, data sources here under the shared that it will be pointing to we can right click uh, here and convert to shared data source in case we want it but uh, we don't want to do that now the next part is uh, creating uh, data sets uh, data set is a query or a store procedure or uh, uh, any uh, you can uh, use the functions and all those kind of things build those fields uh, and uh, once you have that field of query run, uh, it will return you those uh, result set. Uh, so add uh, data set. Uh, here we are going to use uh, also the embedded uh, 
data set in this report we are not using shared data set shared data set can be used across multiple reports but in this case we are only concerned having data set or result set come in for this report so we are going to use a data set embedded in this report now we will select the data source here in the sales database I have the table customer so I'm going to select all those records from the customer table let me go back and say select asterisk from dbo.customer and hit OK we can go to fields if we want to take a look on the fields option and all those kind of thing but uh, I'm not concerned about all these options as of now I want to just create the report with embedded data source and I want to show you what are the limitations when we use embedded data source hit OK now we right click here and once we right click here insert and a table so once we have the table we can drag these fields here or columns and create our report the report is ready now we can preview the report by clicking on preview tab it brought four records that's cool now let's go ahead and create another report right now what we have we have customer report I'm gonna right click here and say add and then uh, add new item and report and I'm going to call this one employee so this is good hit uh, add as uh, we are using embedded data sources uh, for this report also we have to create uh, a data source uh, now add data source and here we will be using embedded data source again in this report I'm going to connect with the sales database so I'm naming this one as a sales or I can call this one a data source underscore sales and here I, I have copied that connection string as I'm pointing to the same data source I can just paste it here and it will be embedded now if you see that what is happening in each of the report I'm connecting or creating a data source that's pointing to the same database so what I'm doing every time I'm doing extra work now maybe this is fine with me at this point okay no big deal for each of the report I can create a data source and that will point to the same um, database fine but there are some limitation we are going to take a look so add a new data set data set is a query that we use to extract data and here we have a DS sales and I'm going to use this query select so start from DB employee now we hit OK unable to connect to the data source DS sales okay wh what happened then let me delete this part and now let's create a new one let's test this out everything looks good I think so there should not be any issue hit OK now go to the data sets add new data set and use embedded okay data source and now we write our queries select asterisk from the view employee go to fields unable to connect to data source DS sales why is that so uh, I don't see the problem here we are using embedded and uh, let me take a look we can copy this query and go back here and then maybe run this query on the sales sorry this is the sales table we have employee run the query and see if the query is working fine okay the query is uh, returning us uh, records so what could be the issue let's go back here and now we are going to go back here in the data set SQL server we have embedded and this is where we have pasted so let me go add it now somehow it okay so here it took uh, the SQL server authentication I, I I'm not using SQL server authentication even here um, I took the same connection string uh, but uh, somehow the credentials uh, were using a uh, SQL server authentication so we need to use the uh, Windows authentication as I'm logging with my account and that's what I'm going to use now we can go ahead and create the data set and here we will set select the data set select asterisk from DBO employee now we should be fine let's bring the table here and table and ID and name real quick so you guys can see these are not fancy reports and I'm not looking forward to create these fancy reports I just want to create some reports I so I can show you now what happened 
here we have created two reports and then each of the report has its own data set so but all the data sets in each of the report this one is pointing to the sales database as well and the, the other one in the customer is also pointing to the same database and with the same server name now if we go ahead and say okay we have created our reports we are great people and uh, we, we use the embedded data sources now if I want to go ahead and deploy these reports so, so click on the project go to properties and here you have to provide the path where you want to deploy it in case uh, you are working in real-time scenarios uh, in one of the company you will not be deploying your reports uh, directly to the QA and prod and UAT you will be creating the reports uh, and then uh, providing to DBS and they will deploy for you but uh, you will you might have permission to deploy to your local machine or uh, the dev server so go ahead and uh, do it here we see that sales report this is a folder it is a targeting we can change it if you want and then here we have to provide uh, the target server URL so in my case uh, I'm going to provide uh, this report server URL there are two things we need to remember here let me delete these uh, folders because we don't want them and also I'm gonna delete the data sources folder so we'll have nothing on the report server so these are the report inf interface uh, and these are called reports underscore SQL 2014 we need to provide the server URL so it is the report server underscore uh, SQL 2014 now let's go back here and we provide the server URL and uh, we have uh, provided data sources we can call this embedded data sources or even data sources whatever we want to do it hit ok apply ok now if I go ahead and deploy everything uh, so we can deploy all the reports and uh, as the report has the the embedded data sources uh, they will be deployed so let's uh, let's take a look what happened once we deploy the reports as we have deployed uh, everything uh, but you guys see here it did not create a, a data source folder because there are no shared data sources so reports has its own data sources so as they are embedded now we have two reports they will work just fine because they are pointing to the same server and database but now think about when we deploy these reports from our machine to the QA in QA the server name is fine there is a separate server name as a QA will have separate server name and then there is a database now the database name in the QA and UAT and prod is called sale region instead of sales now you have created the report you have deployed the reports and you have given these reports to the DBA now DBA is going to deploy these two reports for you once he deploy that he need to go ahead and change the connection string for all these uh, reports so, so if you see here we go to manage and here we have data sources and as you can see that a data source uh, a custom data source is uh, used there is no shared data source we have used here so if we want to do sales let's say first of all he has to change uh, the server name here in our case I don't have any other server name so I'm gonna keep this one as it is but now for the sale region this is the database they want to use it fine it okay now this report will be pointing to the other sale region database and for the same thing he will be doing to the employee he will be coming to the data sources and then he will be making changes so you'll say sale region do you guys think so if there are hundred reports and you will provide to your um, DBA he will be happy to do that for hundred of report I don't think so he's gonna be happy making these changes for you so he will say as you are pointing to the same database and why you don't use the shared data sources so that's the that's the trick if you are using embedded data source then then you have to come back to each of the report and make changes when you deploy them if you are using shared data source you have to only make changes to the shared data source and then each report will start using it so that's the big difference now if uh, I have just made a video how to use or understand the shared data sources I will recommend go ahead and watch it I'm gonna give you tips right here so again this is not great um, 
to have uh, reports uh, with embedded data sources uh, but uh, think about a scenario maybe there is a scenario and uh, is, it's only one report it use only one data source uh, and uh, the, that data source will never ever will be used by any other report uh, so maybe in that case you find you are fine to have embedded data source uh, but i will still recommend uh, why not to create a shared data source let it be there and uh, if the tomorrow you will be using a uh, uh, another report uh, you can uh, point to the same data source uh, instead of uh, later you decide oh okay I have created one report already that was with embedded now I have to create another one uh, so you keep uh, going uh, with maybe another one another one and three or four and eventually you will be having four or five reports uh, with embedded data sources and maintaining them will be hassle so on each of the deployments uh, you have to take care of uh, that uh, and DBAs are not gonna be happy with that now think uh, we have created these reports with embedded data sources but we want to convert them uh, to the shared data sources so open any report uh, customer or uh, employee and then uh, right click on the data source convert to the shared data source so now if you go ahead under the shared data sources uh, sales uh, dot rds uh, report data uh, source is a uh, shared now and you see there is an arrow on this uh, cylinder now we can go ahead and save it next part we go to employee and employee is using uh, this uh, data source we don't need to make this one shared because we already have made the shared and there's the same uh, connection uh, to the database uh, what i can do let me double click here instead of saying embedded uh, connection i can use uh, okay use shared data source reference and i can use the sales that's our shared data source so i can hit okay now our reports are good to go they are using a shared data source and that's the sales each report has its reference so uh, once uh, they will run this reference will be connected to the shared data source now one more thing we want to do here as we have created uh, the shared data source we have to deploy this uh, shared data source uh, to the report server I'm gonna go ahead and uh, deploy one more time let's build it one time so if there is any thing missing uh, we will know that okay build is succeeded and now we can go ahead right click here and say deploy now it is going to deploy the data sources and the reports so, so you can see that deploying data source into the data source folder and it's called sales now let's go back and take a look now we refresh we are at home and data sources in the data sources we have a sales and here it is pointing if we want to take a look we, we can click it here and we can see that this is pointing to the sales as of now now on the other side when we go to reports and we can go to the manager and take a look so here we see that it is still pointing to the custom data source but we are using shared so just click on the shared and then select the data source so and uh, this is the connection uh, you are using for that report so here and then we will be just saying okay sales hit okay apply now let's go back to the employee report and then we will we'll say use shared data source and provide the shared data source name so here is the sales now our reports are good if you deploy the next time and all those kind of thing they should be pointing to the shared data source now last thing I would like to say if we want to run this report it is returning as four records because our data source is pointing to the sales database and it has four records if I want to make a change for all of these reports and now in this data source I want to use sale region I will be coming to the one data source so that's named sales and then just uh, I will make the change here so I will make a change to the connection string here I will provide the server name maybe QA prod UAT whatever and then I will provide the database name and once I'm done I'm gonna hit uh, uh, connect uh, windows and integrity uh, security we will be using probably service account I will uh, have in the deployments uh, videos how to use uh, those service account and what sort of benefits and then now you apply it and go to data sources the data source is pointing to the sale region database uh, now and uh, if I go to reports I don't have to make any change to the reports uh, so I can just run the report now it is running from the sale region database uh, so that's the best part instead of going to each of the report changing their data sources and connection string uh, 
why not to have a shared data source and then use that one so that's a big limitation i recommend using a shared data sources instead of using embedded data source again even if there is a need you feel like okay this is the only time i'm going to use for this report but why it will it hurt create that as a shared and then it will be still one data source in the report server and if later you decide to use it again you will have that data source sitting there so thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you guys in the next video